Today's Pokemon What If is going to be about Gen 3's protagonist, Brendan, and what might have happened if he had joined Team Aqua and Team Magma. But I'm going to take it a step further. What if he united both teams into one? We are going to begin when Brendan battles Team Magma in the Oceanic Museum. After battling several trainers, Brendan finally found their leader, Maxi. Maxi explained that what he was doing was a noble cause, and it didn't matter what he did now. What mattered was the end result. And Brendan laughed at him, then realized he was serious. There, Brendan understood and talked with Team Magma's leader, Maxi. Brendan showed how Team Magma were stealing from people and causing problems, that his cause was insane. People needed water and land. Maxi was shaken. He knew he was doing wrong, but he had come too far to stop. He brushed off Brandon and left, warning him not to interfere again. Brandon continued on, later learning of a plan to cause the volcano to erupt. He left immediately to stop Team Magma, and with the help of Team Aqua, Brandon battled the trainers again at the volcano. This time, he had a personal battle with Maxi, and after defeating him, he forced Maxi to listen to him. Brandon pointed out the surrounding towns, people, Pokemon, and then to Maxi saying, If you followed through with your plan, all of this would have been destroyed. You would have been a mass murderer and terrorist. Maxi, shocked for a moment, shook his head saying, No, I am no terrorist. The ends justifies the means. Brendan told him to look around. You have a group of people you lead. You all wear uniforms and ascribe to this ideology, and you are willing to destroy anyone and anything to reach your goal. Maxi knew he was right. How could he have been so foolish? The leader, Archie, heard the same thing and realized that he too was involved in the same thing. He was no different than Maxi. Both of them came to Brendan. They both agreed that if this young trainer was strong enough to beat them, that he should be the leader. Team Magma and Team Aqua would come together forming the Pokemon Preservation Society, and both Maxi and Archie would work together, sharing their knowledge of the legendary Pokemon Kyogre and Groudon. Brendan would leave a few days to finish his journey collecting the gym badges and become champion, and then return to find out that they had discovered the location of both Pokemon. Being reformed, they would explain their situation to the Guardian of the Orbs and acquire both of them. In their haste, they both left to capture each legendary Pokemon to seal away their powers. After realizing what had happened, Brendan tried to reach Maxi, but was impeded by previous trainers he had defeated. These trainers still believed in what Maxi originally had wanted, and they were going to get their revenge. After failing to reach Maxi in time, Maxi would leave to capture Groundon, and Archie was already attempting to capture Kyogre with the knowledge he gained from Maxi. Now both of the leaders were attempting to capture both legendary legendaries at the same time, but sorely underestimated their power. Maxi watched as Groundon tore apart the world. He knew this was power that had to be sealed away, but in his rush, he wasn't prepared enough. Then Groundon turned on him and shot a hyper beam straight at him. Archie wasn't having much luck either. Kyogre was rampaging the seas and attempting to destroy him as well. Soon, Archie would know exactly what it was like to be Jonah in Jonah and the Whale. As all of this occurred, Brandon knew something must happen, or the world was going to be destroyed. He had heard rumors of a Pokemon capable of putting them to sleep. He had spoken to people about this at Mount Pyrie. He flew fast as he could on his Pokemon's back to Sky Pillar, climbing it while the weather was destroying the world outside. Then he saw Rayquaza, there, atop it. He pleaded with Rayquaza to no avail. There was no way around this. He would have to battle it and prove his worth by capturing it. But it was far too massive. However, the fate of the world depended on this. Brendan checked his bag. Maybe he had something that could help. And then he remembered the Master Ball he had found. That's it. He threw the ball at Rayquaza, capturing it, and within seconds he was flying on its back to Kyogre and Groudon. And they had found each other, battling each other in the middle of a massive rainstorm. Rayquaza let out a loud cry, and with that, both Kyogre and Groundon ceased fighting and returned to their slumbers. It was finally over. Archie, Maxi, and hundreds of other people and Pokemon were killed from this short, destructive rampage. And it was all because of two people originally wanting power, misguided, and set straight. They still managed to almost destroy the world and damage the Hone region greatly, with the realization 
that the legendary Pokemon could do more damage than good, Brandon would reform the Preservation Society into capturing and sealing away the legendary Pokemon. And with Rayquaza's help, Brandon would do just that. So ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about this Pokemon What If? Did you enjoy the video? If you did, leave me a like and share it to someone else, please. And did you think something else might have happened?